A lemon drizzle cake is a really great all-rounder. It's such a light texture, an excellent cake. Hi, I'm Becca and I'm one of the chef tutors here at the Waitrose Cookery School. Today I'm going to take you through how to make an absolutely delicious lemon drizzle cake. I think it's a great thing to turn up to events and parties with baked goods or cakes. A lemon drizzle cake is a really great all-rounder. So I've got the butter weighed out in my bowl already and we're going to add in some golden caster sugar and then cream it together with my electric beaters. You could do this by hand if you wanted to with a wooden spoon, just take a little bit longer. Once your butter and sugar is looking nice and pale and fluffy, we're gonna add in our eggs and we're gonna give these a whisk as well. Next up, we're gonna add in the flour, which we're gonna sieve in. We're using self-raising flour today. I think sometimes this is a step that people skip, but you're also incorporating more air into your cake as well at this stage. So it is a useful thing to do. For the folding, we want to go around the outside of the bowl and then cut through the middle of the bowl. We're trying here to use the thin side of the spatula so that we're not knocking the air out of our mixture. My batter's starting to come together now, so we're going to add in our whole milk now. I'm using my microplane to zest my lemon straight into the bowl so that you're not losing any of the essential oils that do come off the lemon. This also means that there's no waste from that lemon zest. You're just getting it all straight into the bowl and it's gonna taste really good. If you didn't have any lemons, you could definitely make this an orange drizzle cake. That would be really, really nice. You could use a mix of lemon and lime as well. That'd be nice. And then if you put some zest on the top at the end, it would look really, really pretty. This is a great way to use up what you've got left in your fruit bowl. So I'm just gonna take off one bit of the lemon, um, just the lemon zest we want here, and we're gonna use that to decorate on our cake later. Actually, I'm gonna do two. I love the addition of milk or buttermilk or yogurt into cakes. I think that it makes a really nice soft crumb. You get a really, really great texture with this cake. If you want the full recipe for this, just click on the link in the description below. This has all come together now and we've got a nice smooth batter, so I'm pretty sure it's ready to go into the tin. So I've lined my loaf tin, I've greased it with some butter and then lined it with some baking parchment. You do really want to do this just so you make sure that your cake comes out after you've baked it, otherwise you can risk getting it stuck in the tin, even if you've got a really good non-stick tin. So when your batter's ready, pour it straight into the tin, try and get it in the center so you don't get any bits down the side of the grease proof and that's just gonna keep your cake really nice and neat. So once you've got your batter in the tin, just make sure it's pushed into all the corners of the tin. Just ease it in, that's absolutely fine. It really doesn't need to be super smooth on top. You don't need to spend ages doing this. Something I like to do if I've made extra loaf cakes is slice them up and then freeze them in two slices. And then you can take them out and have a reasonable sized bit of cake just for a couple of days for a snack. You don't have to eat a whole cake in one go. So I always find that handy. For the syrup, we've got some caster sugar pop it into a small saucepan, and then we're gonna squeeze in the juice of those two lemons that we zested earlier. And then I've got a juicer here to get every last bit of juice out of those lemons. Once you've squeezed all the juice out of your lemons, if you want to, you can pop it into your glass of water, um, just the skin part, and then it'll flavor your water and you'll have nice lemon water. You want to turn it on to a medium heat and you're basically just looking for the sugar to dissolve into the lemon juice and make a really nice shiny syrup. You don't really need to stir it, um, just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't boil too much. When you shake the pan, if it hasn't fully dissolved, you can see the sugar still on the bottom of the pan so we know that the syrup's not quite ready yet. Whilst the syrup is just dissolving, I'm going to slice up that lemon zest that I peeled off my lemon earlier and kept for decoration. That's gonna make a really nice decoration for the top of my cake. So the sugar is all dissolved now in the lemon juice, so we can turn that off. Whilst the cake is nice and warm and still in the tin, we're gonna prick the cake and then pour the syrup all over and it'll be super tasty. I'm just using a cake tester just to pierce some holes in the top of the cake. So this is gonna help the syrup to sink down into the cake and make it really juicy. This is also a great tool to use to check that your cake is fully cooked. All you need to do is just pierce into the middle of the cake and then pull it out again. And if the skewer is nice and clean, then you know that your cake is fully cooked. 
Then you're gonna pour the syrup all over and wait for it to sink in. My cake is nicely cooled now and it's looking like it's ready to eat. So I'm just gonna lift it out of the tin, pop it onto a nice board that we're gonna serve the cake on as well. And then we can use that peel that we chopped up so finely to decorate the top of our cake. I think that this cake is really nice, served a little bit warm, also maybe with a cup of tea. I also think this cake would be nice served with a little bit of creme fraiche or some really nice yogurt. If you wanna be really decadent, you could serve it with some vanilla ice cream. That's always a nice treat. I'm gonna go for a middle slice. I like the fluffy sides of the sponge. It's such a light texture. Really, really nice and soft. An excellent cake. So that's my lemon drizzle cake recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoy tucking into lots of lemon drizzle cake with friends and family.